Morning everybody, it's Coach Rail here with a uh, message today, just keeping it real. And this is going to be a real, just keep it real. You like my yellow shirt I got? Now I don't have to wear the vest anymore. But I'm standing here in Allen High School Stadium. And I wanted to, I might have to run because I'm not supposed to be here. Maybe I'll get arrested. But I wanted to deliver this message as I saw the stadium as I was coming here from here. This is a $63 million high school stadium. It's the largest high school stadium, I believe, um, in the whole United States, I believe, probably in the world. But here's what, and this is a whole other message I'll deliver, but this was built by the community, not taxpayers' money, not no rich person coming in here and saying, let me help you out or let me do this. This was built by the community, and that's a whole other message. But what I'm here to talk to you about, are we delivering the hope to the people that we promised. This is for leaders. This message isn't for everybody. This is specifically for the leaders of AvoCare, but it can be for a leader in anything. It can be for an overachiever. It can be for somebody who sets big goals. Um, this is a message that's gonna offend people, so if you're not one of those people, this message may not be for you. And because of that, I'm gonna ask permission that I be real bold, and I just bring it, and I'm gonna bring it real, and just keep it real. So. Um, if you're not ready to be offended, I suggest you press delete. If you're still watching this message now, I have your permission. What am I talking about? Like I said, are we delivering the hope to the people we promised hope? And to do that, that takes a sacrifice. And it takes a big sacrifice. And I'm gonna share a sacrifice that I just made this weekend, just to give you an idea of the commitment that we should have because I've heard many many sacrifices from great leaders in our company and here's what I know those sacrifices produce a lot of fruit what am I specifically talking about why did I want to come in this stadium here because Danny McDaniels spoke that we're gonna put 40,000 people in AT&T Stadium in August okay and double what we had and honestly I don't think that's enough I don't think that's enough, but let's go with that goal because the reality of the situation is if you're a leader, uh, and let's just talk about that for a sec. I got Avocare on the front, okay? Something I very take very seriously and very proud of whatever your company or your desire is. I'm sure you wear that with pride as well. But on the back, the name on the back, let's not even put rail on the back. Let's talk about putting leader on the back. You don't just get to put leader on the back. You need to earn leader. And if you were at leadership school or, you know, certainly if you're three-star gold or above or six-star or ruby or even higher, you're definitely a leader whether you like it or not. And it reminds me of that basketball player, uh, I forget his name, but, you know, I remember he said, ah, I didn't choose to be a role model. Well, you know what? When you get to that position, whether you choose it or not, you are. So what am I talking about here? Specifically, what I'm talking about is the commitment to get everybody that you promised hope to, to success school. Because the reality of the situation is if they don't get to success school, you're not living up to your promise. They're not going to see the reality of their dreams. We know that to be factual. Okay, I don't know the number, something like 87 something percent of the checks that are paid out in Avocare go to people that go to success school repeatedly. You know, don't hold me to that, but I think it's something like that. It's pretty high. And that's, you know, 22 year history, right? You could call it the facts or the facts. So, not only is it important for you to do everything you can to get people to success school, to get them to the major events, more importantly, is for you to show up. You as a leader, and here's what I'm talking about. Unbeknownst to my wife, unbeknownst to my kids, unbeknownst to anybody, let me just put this down for a second. Unbeknownst to anybody, when I became an actor, some of you may or may not know I'm an actor, I became an actor at 16. I'm a dreamer, I dream big, I always have. Part of that dream was to win an Academy Award, to be on stage, to walk that, you know, red carpet, and then also to win an Emmy, you know, to get on stage, to be part of an Emmy winning team on a show and walk that red carpet and go to all those cool parties and all that. That's a dream that I've dreamed about more times than I can count for 36 years. 36 years. This past week we got nominated for an Emmy. We got all those invitations to all those parties, that red carpet event, that cool gift room where you get amazing gifts and the potential to, to, to be on an Emmy winning team. 
but it was on the same day that I needed to be at Leadership Success School. It wasn't a second thought, I didn't even hesitate. I knew where I had to be. Well, guess what? We won an Emmy, and that's great. But I wasn't there. I missed that. I missed walking the red arc carpet with my team. I missed being part of that picture. But here's what I know. Because it hurt so much. That's how I know it was the right decision to make. That's how I know it was a sacrifice. Because a sacrifice shouldn't be easy, it should hurt. Because here's the deal, here's the reality. As a leader on my team, as a leader on my team, it's not about me anymore. It's about me delivering the hopes to the people that I promised hope to. So, my personal dreams become secondary because my only commitment is to my team and my family and if this is what you've chosen or whatever you've chosen it is your obligation it is your commitment to be at these big events and, and I'll tell you it's not about you know it's never been for me I'm just I'm just keeping it real let me just be transparent it's never been about the endorsers it's never been about the new flavors it's never been about all the cheering and the big spark man running around and the lights flashing and all these amazing things that corporate does to make it a great event and that's all cool I go there to get fed and the hardest thing for me is sitting in that chair because I get so many nuggets I want to go to work I want to go to work now but I know I stay to the end because you never know when that moment's gonna come. You know, and so I'm just sharing this because I take what Danny McDaniel said very, very seriously. And for us as leaders to get this done, we're gonna have to step up because be quite honest, I'm tired of all of us, me included, saying woo let's go yay forty let let's put them in the stadium let's be a billion dollar company and then we don't do nothing about it we go home and you know we you know somebody says well should i go to success well it's not that important but you know hey let's just get you an advice listen back in the day charlie regas if you did an advisor order it was not an advisor order till you bought your success school ticket that was part of the deal okay so I hope this helps some of you. I really put this together for our Avocare team. And, you know, maybe you got somebody who's sitting on the fence and they're, maybe you're having trouble trying to explain the importance of it. But at the end of the day, what kind of legacy are we going to leave behind? You know, what kind of team? Are you delivering the hope to the people that you promised hope? As a leader, if you sit down and you tell somebody, I'm going to help you do X, Y, Z, and they pull out their credit card and help it, you have an obligation, you have a commitment to deliver that message. And I hate to tell you, but the reality is, if you don't think that was a hard decision, you're kidding yourself. 36 years of my life, one of my biggest dreams was to win an Academy Award, walk that red carpet, be with my team. But I have a bigger commitment now because that was Gregory Martin's team. Love him, the man. He's a champion. He had a dream. But that was his dream. He needed to be there. He's the one who said, hey, come on with me, guys, and I'll help you win, a, win, a, win a, um, an Emmy. They did fine without me. I'm not saying I'm being real. I missed it right but this is my team and whatever your team is I'm the one that has sat down and said hey here's where we're going we're gonna be a billion dollar company we're gonna change lives I'm gonna help you to make 500 a month a thousand ten whatever that is well if you're gonna be that you need to step up because I'll end with this and the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I failed one of my team members this week because they came to me with a similar situation and you know they said you know I'm not and I should have been bolder I should have been stronger and just like I say in fitness all the time I say you know what you may be mad at me today you may be mad at me next week say but one thing I promise you when we meet one day you will never ever come up to me and say rail why didn't you say this to me why weren't you stronger with me why didn't you tell me I needed to do that that's what I do in the fitness world why would I do anything less in the world of Avocare where we're changing millions of lives so I hope that helps guys obviously I'm a little fired up about it but uh, we as Danny McDaniel says this isn't an if it's a must we need to get it done 
I'll see you in AT&T Stadium, 40,000 plus. Everybody watching this, it is your commitment. I am challenging you to bring at least 10 people. Let's load up the buses. I know personally I'm going to get a bus coming from Seattle. I'm going to get a bus coming from Ohio. I'm going to get a bus coming from Alabama. I'm going to get a bus coming from Atlanta. Now I just made myself accountable. I'm going to make it happen. And that's not where I'm going to start. Let's get a bus from California. Let's go. Boom. Peace.